How you doing guys? So today's video is going to be about how tax works for a foreign director owning a USA LLC for Amazon business in the USA. Now, a lot of you might be owning a business in the USA, but you're not based in the USA. So you're class a non-resident LLC owner. So you could be one member LLC or you could be a partnership LLC. So you could have one or more members, like you could have a family member who owns the LLC with you at the same time. So a lot of questions coming up about how, well, I mean, how many types of taxes do I have to pay in the USA if I own an LLC? as a non-resident owner you never had a citizenship you never lived in usa you are a non-resident and you are completely based outside the usa this video is suitable for you and let's move into the details now that we have established who you are and who is this video for and who this tax applies for i'd like to cover number one question that we get from all our clients almost everybody ask first thing is about income tax what type of income taxes will I be liable for if I have a business in the USA? Now, my clear cut question and answer is that which country are you based at and do you know the regulations of your income tax of that country? And this is what the tax is going to be applicable to you. So since you have a business as an LLC in the USA, but you're a non-resident, this is classed as disregarded entity if you are one owner. So this disregarded entity of the USA does not personally tax you as an income tax. There are quite a few clarifications about how you're going to pay the tax or how you're going to declare the you know um, income uh, in the USA from the LLC. So if you declare as a C corp, it could take the income as a dividend or it could take it as a consultation fee for the owner. Now, either way is tax avoidable depending on which country you're at. Most of the countries in the world do have a treaty agreement with the USA government. What does that mean is that that person or the citizen of another country who has a treaty agreement with the USA government can trade and do business virtually or not being based in the USA which is the disregarded LLC and you can only pay tax in your own resident country you don't have to pay an income tax to the USA tax authorities so this is the simple clarification of your income tax where and how you need to pay now let's give it an example if you are based in an offshore country where they have less than 0.5% of income tax and if that country does have a treaty agreement with the USA you can avoid paying tax in the USA completely and you only pay less than 1% or 0.5% in that country resident are. How beautiful is this? What will happen? At the end of the year you do have to declare a double taxation form informing the tax of authorities in the USA that you are based in such and such countries and this is where you're paying tax and here is your evidence and you file that filling out a form or two and this is something you need to speak to a CPA about or you can speak to one of us one of our advisors or myself at Sterling's Global and we'll guide you accordingly so import duty as an Amazon or online seller import duty comes to the question almost immediately when you plan for your inventory. So you will need to pay about 3% import duty or more depending on the commodity code of that product when you ship using a local shipping agent who would act as your representative. So these 3% could be more or less depending on the commodity code of the product and the agent, what they're willing to do, how they're willing to process the papers for you. Import duty comes into question when you import a product from a supplier, from a wholesaler or from a manufacturer to come into the USA so you can start selling that product using your selling platform or marketplace like Amazon or Shopify. And you have to pay the import duty during the import to the customs in order for them to release the goods to reach to your warehouse. So import duty is non-avoidable. Now, there are some duties are avoidable depending on the actual value. If it's a single unit, a gift product, 
it may or may not be excluded for import duty there might be still some import duties however majority of the cases since you're running a business you won't be sending one unit you'll be sending in multiple units and they are taxable during the import at a rate that commodity code suggests according to the USA uh, tax authorities and legislations. Next coming into place is VAT. Now as you know if you're based in the UK or one of the European countries or anywhere outside the USA you may be very familiar with VAT. Now VAT can can come into two different you know uh, ways which is number one for import and number two is for when you sell a product, you charge VAT if you're VAT registered after you met the threshold. Now that's a discussion or debate for a video which is related to the UK or European community. However, at this stage, so you understand the USA taxation, there is no VAT, no VAT exists in import as well as during any sales in the USA. Instead, they have other terms that clarifies the tax in the USA and you will be liable for those with a business while you meet the threshold of that country. So next on my list immediately comes is sales tax. The most It's the most confusing and most non-entertaining topic of the video. However, it is the possibly one of the most important topics of the video. If you use Amazon USA FBA, Wherever, whatever the state Amazon will move you stocks, you need to register and have an accountant to declare your sales tax in each state and pay each separately. Now, sales tax can only be paid if you register through that local authority. Now, you must do that in time as soon as you meet your nexus. Now, it's debatable either if you sell only through Amazon, if register for sales tax or not. So far, the information gathered, you don't have to register if you sell just through Amazon. You simply make sure that Amazon is collecting and paying the sales tax and you have a software supporting that. Something like tax giant as well as have an accountant on the side to make sure everything is integrated properly. So you do have to file a sales tax, even though you don't have to, you know, uh, pay since Amazon is already collecting and paying it to the tax authorities. It doesn't exclude you from filing the sales tax, all right? So if you are not selling through a platform like Amazon who collects and pays or reimburses the sales tax to the authorities, for example, if you're selling through Shopify, WooCommerce or using, you know, another platform of your own, something like a third party, you must must register for sales tax as well as calculate and file sales tax accordingly every state is different how much you have to meet as in like in terms of economical and physical nexus so nexus is classed as like threshold you can call it in terms of uk or europe like you've got vat threshold and you've got like you know sales tax threshold so nexus is used as a term for threshold so now you can have usa sales tax meeting either economical or physical once you have met it and you sell through one of the platforms which is not amazon you must register calculate and file once you meet nexus to the states and make sure it is done and dusted properly if you don't the fines can be severe and the tax man can come after you to make sure those fines are paid on time and properly otherwise they will intend to sue you if i was to give you an example let's say you decide to use a fulfillment center in delaware now delaware has no sales tax and you have your company llc registered in delaware as well if you sell products within delaware you will not pay any sales tax but if you ship from delaware to california then you need to pay a sales tax in California. So you need to pay the sales tax in California, making sure that you had met the nexus and you're registered and you're paying in California is one of your major duties when, you, when it comes to selling in the USA. Right, so now they understand you understand about the sales tax briefly. Next comes to federal and franchise tax. Now, 
some states will only allow you to pay federal tax but some states also name this as a franchise tax so either way you need to do one or the other and make sure that it is fulfilled correctly on a yearly basis and the either is a basic one of fee whatever the fees according to the state or it could be some percentage of the actual total turnover it completely depends on the rules and you know um, a tax you know code set up by the states um, where you're doing the business so you have to decl declare accordingly by knowing the actual you know tax figure or the actual fee that is due on a yearly basis now this can change the fact slightly when it's coming to a disregarded entity which is owned by a single member you pay the disregarded entity's federal taxes on your personal return the disregarded entity is not required to file a federal income tax return in that case it changes the fact again when you pay the tax depending on C Corp or S Corp or partnership type. So you have to consult your CPA or one of us to clarify that for you. So if you do need any suggestion or help or you need to switch your accountant or need somebody to handle it for you, we're here to assist you. Now next come down to state tax. Now state tax is only payable by US residents. A lot of people have the confusion of do I have to pay state tax? If you are trading in one of the foreign friendly states such as like Delaware, Florida, Texas or Wyoming or similar, state tax is kind of like, you know, it is waived. You don't have to pay for it because it is mainly towards the people who are actually living in the USA or who has a citizenship or residence permit in the USA and they pay for state tax. I hope that this video has answered a few questions that you might have had about your Amazon business and I will cover more topics in detail in the future videos. That was it today ladies and gents and thanks very much for following, thanks very much for being with me and with us and if you do need a accountant's firm who would handle all in one for you including UK, Europe and USA, you know you can reach out to us and you can talk to us at any time you like. Thanks very much. All the best. Have a nice day ahead. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye now.